So let's say you're shooting an interview or even a film and your on-screen talent has a blemish on their face. I'm talking a category five, oh my God, a makeup artist cannot cover this, it has a shadow blemish. How do you get rid of it? How do you turn this into this? Today, I show you. You see, in high school, I had a pizza face for sure, so my heart really bleeds for anybody I see that's going on camera that has a blemish, because if I notice it, they definitely notice it. So here's a little known technique for clearing up blemishes. All right, drop your clip on the timeline, go into the effects tab, and start typing in Gaussian blur. Drag that onto the clip. Now typically Gaussian blur is applied to the entire image. You see where I'm going here. We're not doing that this time. Go to the Eclipse tool. Let's just make this window a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing. And blow it up a bit because we're going to be having to get pretty exact on this. We want the Eclipse to cover the entire blemish. And what you're seeing here, the dark blue line is uh, where the actual correction is happening. And the dotted line is the feather. So you can adjust that here. So if you want a faster drop off right there, it's just going to be a very hard cut. We want a little bit of a feather just because uh, we want it to blend in. So if you're doing makeup, this is kind of post-production makeup here. Uh, if you're doing makeup, you want to feather in with the uh, surrounding skin. I'm assuming that's the makeup term. <laughs> um, we don't want it too much because then, like, let's say into the mustache here, it's going to start kind of getting crazy. All right, so there's that. Now, I kind of went a little bit overboard with that marker, so let's see if we can actually cover that up. Wait a minute. We did. Look at that. Now, obviously, you're not getting the, uh, you know, imperfections and the bit of the skin here, but depending on your shot, you've done it. That's it. Let's zoom back out to normal. Now, because this is in just one spot of the frame, as soon as the motion, you know, the subject starts moving, the gig is up and you can see where you applied that Gaussian blur. So what we're going to do is track it. So there it is. And say track selected mask forward. Click on that and give it a second. Now, I personally, because I know that I'm standing still here, but in a moment I'm going to start wiggling back and forth and moving around just to kind of push the limits of the track. So I'm going to hover over stop and as soon as this starts to go off the rails I'll hit stop and start to manually change it if needed. Now blemishes on skin are typically um, very obvious and easy for the software to track but just in case let's... actually it's doing pretty good. What you're seeing there is a little bit of a lag. It will be fine in the uh, final one. Yeah, see, now we're starting to go a little bit off. Yeah, see, look at that. That's bad. Up to here. You know, you, you use your judgment, but yeah, see, here, here it starts to move already, and we don't want that. So let's say here. Zoom in. I'm hitting the plus key on my keyboard. And starting from here, let's just nudge it over a little bit until it's a track forward from that point. Again, hover over stop. Yes, yeah, I knew it went off a little bit. Now, I'm kind of exaggerating the movement here as a worst case scenario, but you're seeing how the big movement is kind of really throwing it off. Oh, look at that. So stop there. Let's readjust it again a little bit. Track forward again. And this is a little bit of manual work, but not bad considering how much time this is saving you by tracking it forward for you. I think we're off the rails again, yeah. So with a little bit of finessing uh, throughout the clip, it will do it here. So let me just work it all the way through to the end. I'll speed it up here for you, uh, and we'll take a look at this. So huge, huge improvement. Is it 
perfect and, and does it blend in perfectly with the rest of the skin? Not exactly, but let's just turn it off for one second. See a little bit of red, sure. Shut it off. Yes, yeah, so I, I basically really exaggerated with uh, that marker. But all things considered, I'm very happy with how that looks. I'm sure your talent will be as well. And uh, that's it. Hopefully that helps you with your project. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos new every Tuesday.